Fanuc RoboShot S150 IB. This machine we're going to be discussing, uh, or I'm going to be asking Colin what he's learned about it over the last day or so. We're at Fakuma. Uh, this is a show that's happening in Friedrichstraßen in Germany, all about injection molding. Great to be back at a show. Oh. Colin, yesterday you spent quite a bit of time with the guys here at Fanuc, didn't They've you? Been learning about brilliant. their technology. Yep. What have we got here? Explain. We have. It's a 150, so 150 tons. I have a range going up to 220 tons at the moment, but next year up to 450 tons. Obviously, it depends on what components you're manufacturing, whether it's a, you know two small pieces or, or two bigger pieces, 50 pieces. It depends on the mould and what's going on here. And injection moulding is all about volume, isn't it? This is about you're continuous, not... precision, reliable moulding yep. over long periods of time Absolutely. in high volumes. Well, key to what Fanuc do is high precision, reliable, repeatability. Absolutely. So and what is different with this S150, maybe compared to other machines and how it's changed and evolved recently? Key to what these guys do, it's electric, all electric, so it's got more precision, more accurate, and a lot, lot faster, really is. And also in this environment, you're talking cost to run these machines, it's a, well, up to 70% less cost to run one of these machines in a standard hydraulic what, machine. Com compared to a hydraulic machine? Absolutely, yep. That, that's a huge, huge saving. What about this control system here? I mean, this might be an opportunity to get Torsten involved as well if we need to. Absolutely. Um, because no, I, I, know I, you've I, I, I lot, can run this. I don't I can know whether you this. can run this, can you, Colin? I can. Well, Touch screen. For, well, take a step back. First of all, a lot of the machines are run on PLC, but this is CNC, so it's a lot more accurate. Torsten's doing that at the moment, but as you can see, touch screen, it's a huge 21.5 inches. Yep. Just, yep. But also, can I just, yeah. sorry Torsten, yeah. I've been learning how to program this, so he's standing close by just in case I break it. So if we go there, I can see the temperature. So here you can see 59.9 .9 degrees, which if we pan up here, is in this hopper here. And, and is then, that the temperature of, of when it first goes into the hopper? When it first hopper? goes in, it's drying in there, the pellet, so it's got to be temperature controlled, and then it's going straight up to two, well, 275 there, which is, if Chris can just come down here for us, in there, you're talking 275, then it's getting warmer and warmer all the way along the screw, and that's showcasing here. So 275, 280, 280. And what temperature does it need to get to in order to? Depends on the material. So these are, I think, these are plastic and um, TPE. So it really does depend on the material. But all very, these machines are sort of interactive, so they're monitor all the time. If you've got a different batch of material, in the same material but a different batch, it might be slightly different in viscosity. This will adjust it. It's interactive. It really Let's is. just bring Torsten in here. Tor Torsten, how, if you could just come this way, how, how much better is this control system to what you had before? And if you want to just take your mask down for a second. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, how much better is this control system than the previous one? Mm, yeah, the controller is different from, from the a, let's say A series. It's it's a not new, completely new machine. It's just a uh, yeah, what are the updated. enhancements on the control? What's different? Is it faster processing? Yeah, faster, is it yes. The CNC controller is a new, a new version, so it's faster. It looks yeah more up to date. Let's say yeah. we had a bigger. It's bigger for sure, and we have a two 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 sides. We can we can have a go yeah. touch show us yeah. Let's say we have two two sections on the left side. It's more if you, if you have a mold change, all the imp important pages. If you want a mold change, he has a maintenance and. Um, Quality, quality uh, pages, for example. It's here temperature, um, and here we have some some curves, or we can see the, the all the process values we need. So we have now two two sectors, different one. You can you can uh, yeah switch from the directions, and you are much more faster to operate. Them. What 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 if you had several several of these machines in a factory? Mm -hmm. Are you able to remotely access what all the other machines are doing as well? Yes, we have. Um, yeah, Fanuc own development is the, the, the Link Eye that's on the screens over there, and then we, we you could actually you, you could see all the Fanuc products uh, if it's RoboShot, RoboDrill, RoboCut, even the robots, and see how the status is, how the for example cycle time here is running and uh, okay. You, uh, and just finally, what's this here? What's why have we got a second pendant? Um, this is a little bit special on Fanuc. Other competitors has a, a little bit different way, but we need this. Uh, addition controller for the second injection unit because we have two materials here and uh, but the benefit is you can retrofit every Fanuc RoboShot with a second injection unit so if you buy e or even old RoboShot you can if customers have some applications then they can retrofit second injection unit all at any time okay okay brilliant brilliant thank you very much for yeah, your time Torsten we're going to have a walk around so, well, so well, Colin we, tell us more tell us more. we walk around You've got the screw here, the temperature changing, which you, can, you we can't see real, but in here, so the, the pellets are moving along there, the material's moving along there, but um, you can change those screws for different materials, different 
if you're doing sort of two, two components at a time, 50 components at a time, it all has to be very tightly controlled. In fact, what you've got here is, you can see the, the time there, 1.21, so it's consistent all the way through, the pressure is consistent all the way through within one or two bar. So very, very tightly and controlled. And does that affect the quality of the product that comes Absolutely. out there? that's why it's got to be very tightly controlled. That's part of why you've got the benefit of the electric motors, because it's super precise, super fast. And with you've got two materials coming through here, you've also got this rotating axis, yep. well, or, or axes as well almost, haven't you, or the that's tool? That's right, so what yep. you've got to do, so that's your second material up yep. here. Yeah. And then hopefully we'll see this in a second if we time this correctly. We could be we could be waiting what not, not too long. But what you've got the motor here, which will take the mould and index it round. Why does it need to be indexed? Because then you're putting it, you're putting in the second material. Right, so it's printing, or so it's 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 here doing. We, go, yeah. we can see here. So the robot arm. So it's doing one material at a time essentially. Absolutely. Then. Yep. And then indexing indexing round material two. Right. Okay. Let's go around the back of the machine and actually okay. see. Uh, the final product because a lot of what Fanuc is showing here uh, and they show every show like Emo is about their automation as well isn't it it's bringing That's everything together so to one Fanuc here well it's QSSR and I've got to get this right it's quick simple startup of ro robotization so basically they'll get, give you a solution for something like this right okay so we have then the the robot taking the finished part out of the uh, out of the machine yep. and then putting it on an output conveyor. But there's other processes that they can do along the numerous, way here. Numerous different processes. So, so we see one, like a, a printing, is that correct. where they're putting the FANUC stamp? Exactly, so the robot, is, it's a six axis robot, so it depends on the complexity of the job. You can have a two axis robot, they have other partners and integrators, so they'll give you a full solution. Six axis robot, and that's perfect timing, in it goes, taking the part out, it'll then drop it into this second machine here, so the post process, and it's, it's got to turn it round, and then, into here, you'll watch it print in a second, he says confidently. So we've got like a suction yep. uh, mechanism to pick But you the can part do different up. processes, you can do quality control in terms of the weight, all sorts of different yeah, processes, I suppose you whatever could check you want. The weight, you, could check, you could even do some inspection of the parts. Exactly, that's it. exactly it. So there you go, printed, and off we go onto the conveyor belt. Wow. And there and you go, you ready for winter, you've got your Fanuc ice scraper. How's wow, that? Let me just pick one of these up before we conclude. Careful, because they're really, really hot. And you've seen the time it takes to make that. You're talking literally uh, a, a matter of seconds, it's, really. It's not you? long at all. It's, 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 it's that, not long. And these things, again, are key to run 24-7, seven, seven days a week. Yeah. They really are. Load them up, let them go. So the main thing here is injection moulding and looking at two differing materials, plus the automation of yep. it, plus adding other processes in, yep. all done, one fanic.